It's funny because they almost look fake. Whew, dang. People always told me I need someone like you. Someone who gets me and someone who's cool, yeah. And I like the way you are. And no one at all. Okay, guys, today Marion is out running around with her friend, doing a little bit of shopping and whatever. So I thought I would show you around the park that we're currently staying at. We are in Arizona. Goodyear, Arizona at Cotton Lane Resort. The weather out here today is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this sky and all these fluffy white clouds. Check out the palm trees here. And then inside this park, we've got so many different kinds of cactus. Look at this, what the heck? These almost look fake. It's like little basketballs, prickly basketballs. I don't wanna to touch one. It's funny cause they almost look fake. Like, I don't even know if it's real. Okay, let me tell you, it is real. I'm gonna be very careful. Whew, dang, I don't wanna get pricked with that thing. When I first touched it, I expected those to be really soft, but they are super hard and prickly. I am getting away from these things. And look, the sign has a piece of cotton on it. I honestly have no idea if Arizona has anything to do with cotton. Here comes somebody pulling in. But it's funny that there's cotton on the sign, palm trees up here, and then prickly, prickly cactuses. Ooh, we got an Airstream coming too, how cool. They're just piling in here today. There's a Seabreeze LX. And there goes Amazon leaving. I actually have packages coming. I wonder if they left me anything. Okay, so let's take a walk through here. This is a 55 and over community. And the reason that I say community instead of RV park is because it's a mix of a lot of things. You can see over here, we have like the very small houses. Um, there's a lot of fifth wheels and RVs down that way. Lots of houses lining that street there, almost like a little uh, neighborhood. And there's even a part farther up here that I'll show you that is strictly for people who are coming into camp for like just a couple of days or a week or something. I don't know how many sites are in this park um, in total, but down this way is where uh, Marion's friend is staying, who she's out with right now. Up here on the right is where you check in. You can see uh, the couple of RVs that just pulled in. They're up here parked in the middle. That's where you park when you're getting ready to check in. And like with most parks, you've got a lot of golf carts and bikes and things like that. So right up here on the right are the offices. And yeah, this is where you basically stop to unhook your car to get registered and checked in. Man, look at those clouds. This is amazing out here today. And look at this ginormous cactus over here. That thing's like 12 feet tall. So here's the resort office, but it is closed to the public right now due to COVID. So I honestly have no idea what it looks like in there and we cannot go in. Since it's closed, when you come in, you come over here to the after hours registration and all your information is posted on these boards here with your name and your site number. These are actually posted right outside the post office here. You've got all your post office boxes over here and then they hold packages for you as well if they come from uh, USPS. If you get anything like from Amazon or UPS, they bring it to your site. We are here for a month, so we got our own mailbox and a key. I think it was $20 and then that is refundable at the end of the month. More boxes on the back of the building here as well. Right behind the post office, you have these seats here where you can sit and watch people play shuffleboard. I've never played shuffleboard, but there were some people out here playing the other day and it looked pretty fun. I honestly don't know what this area here is for. So if you know, let me know, cause it's kind of intriguing. So if we keep walking this way, we got a bulletin board that gives you all kinds of information about the park. Right over here is the pool. And despite all activities being canceled, the pool is open. Now there are modified hours that you can go to the pool due to COVID. I'm not really sure how that works, but I think the pool is open, uh, like, I don't know, eight to 10 every day or something. Let's see what the sign says. Okay, yeah, seven to 10, except Thursdays it closes at five so they can clean the pool. Anytime you go in anywhere around here, you do have to wear your mask, of course, unless you're actually getting in the pool. But if there's nobody in here, I wanna show you what it looks like. And there's nobody here. So check this out, guys. This is an enormous swimming pool. I am zoomed out as far as I can go. This pool is huge. It goes from three feet on this side down to five feet in the middle and then three feet on that side. There's no diving board. There's no running. There's no jumping. There's no diving or anything like that. There's also no lights in here, which I don't quite understand. There's a few lights in the pool, 
but they haven't been turning them on. Maybe it's to deter people from coming in. I don't know. There's a couple of lights up in the corner and three of them are on, but it doesn't light it up very much in here. We were out here swimming the other day. It was awesome. The water was warm. It was beautiful and it was fun. We were all by ourselves. It was great. I'm about to come back tonight. And although this huge pool is open, the spa, the hot tub is closed. I would love to get in there right now, but you know, due to COVID. The other thing that's closed is the restroom and showers. And if you do come swimming, the rules are that you have to take a shower before and obviously after. So you're gonna have to do that in your own RV. I do love how the whole place is surrounded by glass. And I assume when this place is in full swing, all those doors are wide open, letting an awesome breeze come through here. We've got a little patio out here with a couple of tables and some chairs. You can sit out and play games or just hang out. And like I said, this is a 55 plus community, so there are not kids running around here as you would see at like a typical campground. So let's keep on moving with our little tour here. Now, some of you might be wondering about that. I am not 55, I'm 46, but in the rules, they do go down to 45. Also, lots of little pups riding the golf carts around here. <laughs> this place is huge, I'm telling you guys. This is just another section that's a mixture of the little houses and RVs and fifth wheels, trailers, campers. We've got some recycle bins back there. This is where you would park if you're gonna come do your laundry. And this building right back here on the left, this is the laundry room. I don't know if you can see that jet right up there, but you can probably hear it. There is a military base right around here and those things fly by all day long. It is really loud, but it is not intrusive. It's not bothersome. So let's don our mask one more time. We'll go on in here and I'll show you the laundry room. Okay guys, so there was somebody in there, so I'm not gonna go filming in there, but there's probably about, I don't know, 20 washers in there and, and 10 dryers, something like that. Outside here, there are clotheslines. You're not allowed to have a clothesline at your own site. So if you wanna hang dry your clothes, you have to do it out here. There's a couple of tables out here and chairs if you just wanna hang around and uh, you know wait for your laundry outside. Another one right there, play games, read a book, do whatever you want. Right here on the back of the uh, laundry room, we do have a card room, but it is locked right now, as well as an activity hall and library over there. And again, all that stuff is off limits right now due to COVID, but we do have a fitness center right here. And it is open, if I can get this thing on. <laughs> It is open seven to 10 every day. There's a maximum stay of one hour. And when you go in, you change this sign from vacant to occupied. Let's go on in and I'll show you. It's not the biggest uh, workout room ever, but it's totally sufficient. Look, we've got two great uh, treadmills here. We got a bike. I'm not even sure if that's a bike. That's like a bike on steroids. Got this chair over here. I don't even know what that does. <laughs> and then you got a workout machine right here too. So there is plenty of things to work out in here. And I will be down here later on because I got to get some of this fat off this body. And before you leave, there's also wipes and sanitizer that you can wipe your hands and the machines down. Change that back to vacant and let's roll. I love how there's so many different types of trees and plants in this park. Look at this, this is cool just to walk under. But then straight ahead, like I was saying earlier, you've got palm trees, cactus over in front of some of the houses. The only thing you don't have here is grass because it's Arizona. But if you really want grass, all you have to do is buy it from Lowe's and nail it down. Look at this, how funny. It's an alligator in the grass. Guys, I'm not even kidding. This is one of the most beautiful days that I have seen in a long time. Look at this, blue skies, white fluffy clouds. It was a little dark right up above me, but to my knowledge, it's not supposed to rain today. Now this sign over here says pull throughs, pointing down this road here. And as we round the bend, you can see there's campers and RVs down on this end. Hi bird. For a minute, I thought that bird was gonna fly straight into my face like that one that hit Fabio when he was on the roller coaster. So I don't know what this building is right here. I think it's like a maintenance building because it's off limits. But yeah, this whole area here is all pull through spots. And this is all for people who are only gonna be here for a couple days at a time, maybe a week, 
just regular campers, you know, weekenders and passing through town. When I was making my reservations, I originally asked for a, uh, a pull-through site, but I didn't know at the time that that's what the deal was. There's no other pull-through sites in the park. These are the only ones, and it's only for the weekenders. Our total stay is about a month, maybe even less. It just all depends. And you can see these awesome mountains off in the background here. I don't know how well you can see those over the fence, but how cool is that? Beautiful mountains. Now, as we leave that area, we're once again into a mixture of these little houses. This one's actually for sale right here. That's $63,000 according to the sign on it. Little houses all the way down there. This is all campers and fifth wheels. Now, if I owned this place, I would squash these together a little bit and make these all pull through sites. But as I'm gonna show you in a minute here when we get up to my neck of the woods, these sites are absolutely enormous. They're the biggest RV sites I have seen in any of the parks we've stayed at. And it's not the biggest price. I've paid 1,200, 1,300, 1,400 per month at other parks. This one we paid 600 for the entire month. Now, when we were in New Mexico, I paid 400 for the entire month, and that was an awesome price. It was a beautiful park, but the weather there was so crazy. The wind was so bad, we couldn't have anything set up outside or else it would just get blown to heck. Hello, cactus. So that brings us back around to here. That's where you check in again. That's where you enter the park. And then up this way, I'm telling you, this is an enormous, enormous park. Up this way, you see more of the small houses over here. This is all a golf course over here. I don't know if that's real grass or not. It probably is. But again, all through the park, it's a mixture of these little houses and RVs, you know, fifth wheels, trailers, class A, class C, whatever. And when you get up here, the road splits into all these little roads that weave in and out all the way down to there. Now, every morning I've been taking a walk and I've been weaving in and out of all these streets. There are a lot and it is a long walk. That continues all the way up there, but it pretty much all looks the same. So we're gonna cut down this road right here. And look at this, we got a Ford Fairlane over here. How cool is that? It's fun to walk through the park and see all the different kinds of RVs. We got a bunch of fifth wheels over here. Class A's, here's a travel trailer up here. So many different sizes and kinds of fifth wheels. I assume this person must live here, but you got a class A there, some more fifth wheels over here. And then we got Blink 182 going on over here with the El Camino. How cool is that? That's it, just a little walk around the park here. I'm going to get ready for dinner. Um, Marion is still out with her friend. I'm gonna get the Blackstone going here. And I think we are going to make some uh, Philly cheese steaks tonight with like, you know, those frozen steakums. I don't know how good they're gonna be, but who knows, maybe I'll make a video about that too. I will see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe and come back for more. Hit that bell so that you get the notifications. People always told me I need